In Bangkok Thursday night, my colleague Tom Fuller was interviewing a rogue Thai general, Katia Sawadipol. While answering a question, the general was shot in the head by a sniper and fell to the ground. He was rushed to a hospital in critical condition and was reported to be on life support. The shooter has not been identified. This is Seth Maidans in Bangkok. The general, commonly known as Sedeng, was in charge of security for an anti-government sit-in that's paralyzed the central shopping area of Bangkok for weeks. He's been criticized by the government for disloyalty and by the protesters for a suspected role in stirring up violence. Speaking with the New York Times earlier this week, the general said he would resist any attempt to break up the protests. You see, the people won't go home. The demonstrators, known as the Red Shirts, mostly represent the rural and urban poor in a movement that challenges a traditional hierarchy of elites in Thailand. They have turned the glittering shopping area into a tent city, calling on the government to resign and hold new elections. Every day at 6 p.m. they rise to their feet and sing the national anthem. For weeks, the militaries hung back, fearing a repeat of a bloody evening last month when 27 people were killed. But on Thursday, they moved in carefully, sealing off the protesters' area, blocking roads and setting up checkpoints. Banks and businesses shut down. Embassies, including the American embassy, were closed. As the soldiers were moving in, black-shirted thugs, the general's security detail, prayed and lit incense at one of the city's holiest shrines. The killing of the general was the first move in what could be a decisive confrontation in Thailand. Late into the night, shouts and gunfire could be heard in the darkened streets of central Bangkok.